Okay, what's going on YouTubers? Uh, today, um, I'm going to be tying uh, the pink lady, is what we generally call it. Um, so it's, you know, just a solid pink sea witch. Um, this is my sea witch of the week. Uh, it's a great all around sea witch. It's good for wintertime fishing, summertime fishing, blue marlin, mahi, wahoo, king mackerel. Doesn't really sailfish. I pretty much caught everything on a pink sea witch. Um, so it's a really, really kind of um, a famous bait, if you will, here off the uh, Outer Banks of North Carolina. Um, so uh, I'm gonna just get started. Um, a sea witch is doesn't really matter. Now, some people will have different names for the different types of heads and people just say that this, this type of head with the hair is a sea witch. But pretty much any head that you use, it'd be a bigger head, a scooter head, uh, this one has jets in it, um, you know, or just the pink head, half ounce, you know, I got quarter ounce pink head, a half ounce white head, green, uh, bigger a little bit alien heads a little bit heavier um, you know now uh, a torpedo shaped head uh, and a blue head so uh, you could use any of these heads absolutely and it all would work uh, but I'm going to go with um, just the regular old pink uh, half ounce see which head so I'm gonna take my lead head and put it on there with the eyeballs pointed to the either side uh, which really when you're using a solid color you can lay anyway when you're putting on two different colors though, you need to be sure where the eyes are just and it's not generally always, I mean, it's not always going to pull uh, any certain way it's going to spin around upside down and you got to kind of when you uh, realize when you you know decide which side you want to be the top of the bait which would generally be the darker color uh, you would or some guys will put the two colors on either side. Um, I usually put the dark on top, light on the bottom. And when you slide it up to your ballyhoo, you just put the darker along the top of the bait. And as long as your bait swims like he's supposed to, the sea witch stays uh, in the right position. Uh, and for anybody that doesn't understand that, uh, just ask me and I'll, maybe I can explain it in a different way. Or uh, I'm still learning all about this you know, uh, teaching people uh, how to do what I know how to do. Uh, so, it's new to me, uh, just like maybe this might be new to you. So, uh, now I've picked off a uh, little amount of pink hair, uh, not very much. Um, you know, summertime, which is what's coming up, is spring now, I, uh, I'm pretty light on the hair. Uh, cold water, I'm a little bit heavier on the hair. So for this time of year, nice and light on the hair. So you're just going to want to take and uh, put your hair down where you want it and uh, place your head in there. And uh, like always, you just do your surgical knot, uh, which is where you take, and we'll show everybody in case you, this is your first time, you take the two ends and you just wrap them one around the other uh, three times. Okay. And just pull it on down. Now this first knot is not gonna it's gonna pull it tight but it's not gonna make this a permanent tie uh, or permanent knot yet. So now it's, it's tight it's holding it there but it's loose enough where you can manipulate the hair around the head and position it however um, you know evenly uh, around the head. Now when you take the bait after doing this and you flip this bait over um, and you tie your surgical knot on the opposite side where you tied the first knot. This secondary knot here is what's going to um, basically hold this hair in place. So now it's there. Now you just you know, uh, continue to tie this uh, 10, 15, 20 times, however many times you want. Um, I generally just do it like maybe 10 times and you know, some guys will put glue on there. Uh, I always say that, and I do not, 
because this makes it easier to get the hair off um, after I've caught a few fish the hair's damaged you know a lot of guys would pull these things they're like man this thing's lucky it caught I'm gonna keep it just like it is and keep pulling it just like it is well you know as far as I you know I believe uh, luck is when opportunity meets preparation so you know you prepare uh, and you get out there and you have the opportunity and you're ready and you catch the fish so luck uh, it's kind of to say one is a lucky bait you know is I don't know how to even explain it it's, the fish does it I mean you should say it's a lucky fish not a lucky bait because it's the you know the game that fish that you're after He's the one that swims up there and makes that decision to eat that bait uh, and make you a hero, make everybody happy. And um, so, you know, I've sealed off my surgical knot. I just, after I get toward the stopping point, I just repeat that surgical knot process, the one, two, three, and instead of flipping it, I'll do it three times on one side. And what that'll do is it'll seal it off where it's not going to come undone. Now this la this wax line is designed so when cinched down tight, it's nearly impossible to untie. Uh, it's the whole really the, the the whole design behind this uh, wax line. So once you get to this point, you just need to take your scissors and uh, snip off all uh, your excess wax line. And then off excess hair and the same on the top there and there it is it's the pink lady uh, by Captain Tactical um, pretty simple bait beautiful I mean really it's just a beautiful bait uh, you put this over a ballyhoo, here uh, and if you don't catch a fish on it um, you're just not in the right place that's all there is to it because it's certainly not the bait uh, you're just not in the right spot because it doesn't matter what you pull behind the boat if you're not in the meat you're not going to catch them uh, so people ask all the time, what's the best sea witch, what's the best bait? Um, whatever you have in the water and you're dragging while you're trolling is the best bait that you got because it's the one that's in the water. Uh, so the trick is to drag that bait by a fish, a hungry fish. So, and if anybody tells you any different, they're lying, they're trying to get you to buy a product, buy a bait, uh, charter their boat, uh, whatever I've been in this game for all of my life and I know how it works um, most baits are designed to catch fishermen and not fish uh, and the truth of the matter is you know all those baits will probably catch fish but this thing right here cost me I'm looking at about a dollar and a half dollar fifty cent for this uh, if you go and buy one pre-tied by somebody else it's like five bucks um, if you go all out and uh, you buy one of these guys maybe a sail lure uh, maybe by Islander Hawaiian uh, and if you this is like just under 20 bucks it's like sixteen dollars you know so I could have taken this head here an old head that I have tied this pink on there and I have one of these for, you know, a couple, you know, three bucks. I mean, this is an old retired head. I picked this up. I mean, somebody was like throwing it out, and I picked it up, cut the old skirt off of it, and, you know, I caught a bunch of fish off this head with different color combinations chartreuse, pink, uh, all kinds of different things. So, anyway, here it is Pink Sea Witch, Captain Tactical, holder.